This is from Marcus Insider, published on 1st of April, right over here. There's a simple reason why it's very likely that the stock market bottomed in October, all right? Now, we are talking about last year, October, not this year, October. This is talking about last year, October. And this was put out by Fundstrut. Let's read out the three key points here. And then we're going to do our work already. Number one, the stock market October low likely represented the bottom of the bear market according to Fundstrut. Number two, that's because 50% of bear markets since 1950 have bottomed in the month of October. Number three, is it really far-fetched to think markets bottom on October 12th? History will suggest it makes sense, all right? So we take these three points and then we translate it to the chart. So here we go. I'm going to go to S&P 500 chart. Set it one year. And you guys are going to draw this chart together with me and I'm going to show you how to set it up, all right? So make sure on your bottom left, you can see 2022, all right? That's what you need to see on your bottom left. Okay, let me just adjust a little bit, May, June, July, 2022. All right, there you go. So make sure you guys do this together with me right now. This is a very, very important exercise. First, to affirm what Fundstrat has put out that October last year was the bottom. We want to cross verify and I'm going to show you how we do that. So of course, if I shift the charts left and right, then you know this part here truly represents the high of the market, which is like the first week of January 2022, all right? And I'm going to shift back again. I can still see that guy. And make sure at your bottom, you can see every single month, all right? Like January, February, March, April, May, June, July. You can see continuously each name of the month uh, being mentioned here. So I'm showing you how to set up the stage. So step one, what we're going to do is this. We're going to go to the top left-hand corner to mark out that box where it was the all-time high. So I mark out the red box right there. That is the all-time high for S&P 500. And then we're going to take the same box, move it down to around October last year, which you can see clearly is right, right there in my red box, exactly right at the spot. Between, I want you to be very precise, it's sitting between October and November in the middle of it. All right, please make sure you do that in the middle of it. So that is my second box. And once you got the second box, then look at my fingers how I count, all right? Please watch, huh? This is very important. So right here, uh, let me show you how I count it. Month of January, one whole month is one. Month of February, the entire month of February is two. March is three. April is 4, May is 5, June is 6, July is 7, August is 8, September is 9, and October, in the middle of October, is 10. We, co we count it as 10 months. Alright? So once I land in October, November, in between them, it's called 10 months. 10 months have passed. Now, if these 10 months have passed, then I'm going to calculate into the future 10 months or so, right? So, of course, between October and November is considered one month. November, two months. December, three months. January, four. February, five. March, six. April, seven. May, eight. June, nine. And between July and August is 10. So, once I got that right, I move my red box to between July and August right there at the top right-hand corner right now. Okay? So this is how I plot my three square boxes. And then we connect the dots.